morning today is Sunday and all I'm going to do today other than teaching is just run through these three scriptures tracks and the one track that I've got to do for this other guy these tracks have just rolled on to the next week basically I started them last week I did did some takes one of the scripture songs was really good uh, the demo version of the song for the other artist um, I think was okay but I, I definitely can do it better so I'm gonna redo that as well um, but what's going to be happening this week is after I finish teaching today um, yeah today today basically I'm here in the morning it's early now it's 7am uh, and uh, my first student starts at 9 so I've got two hours practice here in the morning and then I think I've got one more hour gap throughout the day before I have to go home I'll have to check my diary I may, may have another half hour or something we'll see um, but tomorrow I've got the guys from Scriptures, the bands that I've been recording for remotely. Uh, two of the guys from the band are coming down to the studio. Uh, recording studios are still allowed to operate in the UK. Um, and since this is a, you know, a professional situation, I'm allowed them to come down here. I'm allowed to still come down here and record. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get them two to come here and get some feedback in real time because we're we're nearing the end of the project now we're we're literally halfway through at this point i would say um i think we, uh, i asked him yesterday we've got six tracks left to do um so these three which one of them's pretty much okay so five more tracks to do including two that we'll do tomorrow so after tomorrow there should only be three tracks left to do on this project which is amazing it's been so such I can't talk. It's been such fun to be a part of. It's been really, really good. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed all the drum parts. I've enjoyed the recording part. It's it's been a lot of fun. A lot of um, a lot of good feedback from them. Um, it was all going great, uh, except one of the songs last week I did, which they didn't like. They didn't like the samples and they didn't like the feel of the main part, which, as I said before, I think is completely fine. You know, they, they have a project that they want done perfectly and that's what I'm here to do. So if something I did wasn't wasn't correct or wasn't right or wasn't to their liking, that is perfect. You want proper feedback so that you can get it right and make sure that everybody's happy, which is, which is excellent. So I'm really happy with that. But like I said, if this was a normal studio scenario, I would have done that take and then we would have gone into the control room, listened, and we would have gone, oh, no, not really feeling that, let's try this. And then the next take, it would have been done. Um, not being big at it, but that's normally how it works. If if there is a problem, that's how you do it. You solve it in the in the, t in the moment. Whereas with these um, remote recordings, which are great, you know, obviously in the current situation, it's all we can do. Um, I just find that something like that, it's hard to know uh, what people want without being there. You can have, I mean, like a lot of the time I'll have detailed phone conversations or detailed message threads and you get a really, really good idea of what everyone's after. But it's definitely not as easy as just having somebody there to say, okay, let's try this and then you, you can do it straight away. So I think for these last five songs, I might try and do it like this where I get the guys down to the studio and I think it will speed the process up a little bit. Uh, like I say, this, this is the first real stumbling block that we've came to. So it hasn't been too bad. But <laughs> do, you, or do you know the craziest thing? It's the easy song as well. The other song that they liked was really complex. I had to learn all the parts. It was ridiculously hard. Managed to play it all the way through in one take. It's a seven minute long song. And then this one, I think this is the trouble. This one is easy relatively easy uh, you know for a half decent player it's easy so i thought oh, i'll just quickly bash this one quickly do this one quick really really quick record blah, 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 blah. sorted that was easy I'm glad that wasn't as hard as the other one and it turns out this is the one that's the problem when it comes to that thing again where it's more feel rather than um you know what you're playing it doesn't matter if the part's difficult if you don't make it sound good then it doesn't sound good um, and I think that was probably my problem. I think I tried to do it too quick. I didn't do as many takes as I would have done. And normally I'd do a take that's their version and then a take that would be my version. 
and then we normally get a mixture of the two kind of thing. <laughs> but I didn't do that this time, I just quickly rushed through it, did their version and thought, see if that'll do. But no, it didn't, which is great. So yeah, got the guys coming tomorrow, which means today all I've got to do, in my mind, I want to run through all three of the tracks and get them all perfect to where I can play them all the way through without stopping perfectly pretty much every time. So that the process is really quick, I'll play it exactly how they want it and then we can take it from there and start start going ahead and uh, start changing things. Cool, right, let's get cracking. It's now two minutes to nine and I've got my first student in two minutes. Uh, practice went amazing, I've just done two hours, I can play all of the songs now all the way through without stopping. Uh, pretty much every time with very minimal mistakes. So I have got an hour gap and a half hour gap today, so in those gaps I'm just going to keep playing through the songs, play, 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 play. So I get it in my muscle memory, I haven't got to think so much, I can focus on actually playing rather than thinking about the parts. Sorry I'm out of breath because I just rushed to get my laptop over here ready for the student. So I've got to go, but I'll keep you updated throughout the day. And I'll keep you updated on how the recording goes tomorrow. Really exciting, it's good to have people into the studio, some real time feedback. Hopefully I'll play well, uh, we shall see. Let's run some of these tunes. Just gonna practice the sections. Right, it's now 20 past 7 on Sunday and I've got to go home, pub quiz on tonight, so I've got to play that instead of doing any work. I've been here all day and um, I only had half an hour gap, I thought I had a half hour gap and I thought I had an hour gap. It turns out I didn't, I just had a half hour gap where I got to play through the songs again. I got here early this morning, managed to play through all the songs. So I'm feeling pretty good with them, except for one of the grooves keeps tripping me up when I go straight into it. Um, luckily, tomorrow I'm teaching at one of the schools in the morning, then I've got a bit of time in the afternoon to have a couple of run-throughs again. And then I'll get the guys here tomorrow evening to record. So I'll probably show you a bit of that, show you me recording them. Um, we'll see what happens. But yeah, it's good. I'm looking forward to it. It's nice looking forward to having a couple of the guys come down to the studio and uh, see me playing live for a change. I don't even know if they've seen me play before. 
which is weird. I mean, they may have seen me on YouTube or whatever, but I don't know if they've seen me play in person. So it'll be cool, be interesting. Hopefully, I don't mess it up too bad. Let's see what happens. Right, I'll keep you posted tomorrow, tonight, on my phone for tea and pub quiz. See you later. Hello, Monday today. It's nearly three o'clock. I've got the guys from Scriptures coming over at five, he said, around five-ish. So I've got a bit of time now to practice the songs. I got here earlier, fixed one of my shelves. My bookshelf had fallen down. Nightmare, so I brought my drill, fixed that. That's exciting news for you, isn't it? And then I've played through the tracks that I've got to record today a couple of times. Came up with a couple of parts that I might want to play, but we'll see how it goes. They may say that they like what I do. Um, that's similar to their version. The other one, I'm definitely going to do my own version. But yeah, it's gone well. I enjoyed it. I'm just about to have a clean around now because I haven't haven't had any students or anything in here for a, a week a week and a half now. So it's a little bit dusty. I haven't uh, haven't been keeping on top of it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to listen to a record to do it. I'll show you what record I'm listening to. Just took the cellophane off. Oh yeah. I had this on um, the collector's edition CD. You know that they did a massive box set of it, which was awesome. So good. Uh, big Miles Davis fan, so can't wait to listen to that while I'm doing it. Got a couple of hours to just chill. I feel feeling pretty confident. Like I said, I'm going to run through the songs a couple more times before they get here, and then see how it goes after that. Cool. Hello, morning. I'm in the studio nice and early today, behind the kit already, uh, practicing, just getting a nice practice session in the morning. It's Tuesday today, and I just wanted to talk about the scriptures uh, recording yesterday that went, went down here. I've got the two guys from scriptures here, and uh, we managed to play uh, two of their songs all the way through, and the previous one I'd done the other day, they were really happy with. I played it through the monitor to them so they could hear it and uh, did it with the backing track without any drums in so they sent me a backing track that had no drums in so they could hear exactly how what I'd recorded lined up uh, just so you know this is the second time I'm recording this video because I accidentally gave out all their track names <laughs> and I don't know whether they're doing that yet so I'm having to redo it cause I just took it took into the tracks like I was talking to them uh, gave all the names out and I don't know if they've released all the track names yet so I've got to be careful uh, so yeah on the first track recorded it it's quite a complex pass there's loads and loads of different parts the rhythms are really weird like the bass drum rhythm goes with all this stuff happening on top of it so good luck to their drummer when they have to play that when they get a new drummer and they have to play that live <laughs> Not not easy. It's uh, yeah in the live situation. I don't know how how good I'd be able to do that. Uh, but it's good fun. It's a great song. Um, it's interesting when you get people that aren't drummers that program drums. They come up with really really cool parts. Uh, but even though they're really cool, they're quite unusual to play. And it's different um, different phrasings than a drummer would normally use. So it was interesting to try and learn it. These three songs were the hardest, I think. So far. I've had some difficult ones with odd time signatures and stuff, but these ones, um, two of them are quite long. I found them really, really difficult to, to get the parts together, but I'm glad I've done it now because I managed to actually play what they'd programmed. Uh, pretty much exact, I'd say. It's, it sounded really, really good. I was happy with it. Um, so the song I did previously, they were happy with. Um, that one's great. The, the chart I did for it was mad. I'm, I think I showed you that one was a, was a toughie, quite difficult. Uh, then the second song that we did yesterday, that's the one with all the weird bass drums. Managed to record that in a few takes. I kept messing up. I like to do things in one take and I kept messing up the, uh, not in one take, in one complete take. And I kept messing up the last section. So annoying. So I had to practice it a bit while they were sat there. I was like, oh. But managed to get it. It's quite a really quite a complex part. Um, the chase, it's on a uh, two bar loop. So the, the second time, not on a two bar loop, on a four bar loop, the second bar changes each time subtly. Um, so it's quite hard. 
but managed to get there quite quite good i was happy with my take it sounded really good they may have to move the odd bass drum or something but on the whole it was really really good and then the third song this is the one that i didn't do very well last time where i chose the wrong samples and stuff this time what i did is just played all the different parts separately so i gave them a, a bass drum part we used all 808 sounds from the sample pad because them rolling sounds are great so they can then uh, chop and paste it however they want it rather than me just playing a set pattern the whole time so I played a bass drum part I played the snare drum part and then I played a few different hi-hat parts so that they can then in their own time mix and match it think think about what they want to do add some effects and delays and things and then for the big choruses I just played what I felt it should have been and they were happy with that I think last time I made the mistake because they would put in a generic drum part I made the mistake of trying to copy the drum part exact because I thought that's what they had in their head um, and they said it just needs to sound big and they want it to sound like real drums real big rock drums so that's what I did and that was great almost instantly they were happy with what I did so it just shows you having people here to give you real-time feedback makes a big difference and I think that's how I might start doing it in the future either so I record it all pretty much in a take anyway like I, I learn the songs properly it's not like I'm sat here on my own piecing bits together trying to get a take I, I'm, I learn the songs properly so I think it's just as easy to get the guys down here and then play what I'm thinking for them get the real feedback and then we can talk about if bits need changing and things like that in real time it's a lot better I think I might start doing that even with remote sessions I might start doing it on FaceTime or something trying to get some actual feedback because like I said to the guys yesterday the trouble is I'm dealing with one band member so I, I, they send me the track I learn the track I record the track I send them a bounce to see if they like what I'm playing then that band member has to send it to the other band members they have to listen to it then they send their feedback back to him he adds his feedback then he sends it back to me you like going around the houses the whole time, whereas if you get uh, the t a couple of the main band members that are doing the recording here, they can talk to each other instantly, and you get instant feedback. And it just makes the whole process a lot quicker, rather than having to come to the studio, record, then go back, you know, mix it, send it, come back. It's... Uh, a lot more productive this way so I really enjoyed it unfortunately I'm sorry I didn't get to vlog anything because it was all just work 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 it was quite quite intense we did it for a few hours uh, so apologies for that I didn't get to actually vlog any of it because I was just too busy being a recording drummer and actually making the parts work rather than being a youtuber so unfortunately you just get my ramblings in the morning right gotta get some practice done catch you later